For a small state, the numbers are pretty staggering. So you're sitting on a lot of money. We're sitting on a lot of money. It's about $80 million, just a little over $80 million. And State Treasurer Beth Pierce is trying to give it back. Her office, as in most states, manages the unclaimed property fund. The fund gets bigger every year. This is our unclaimed property area, so. It's the place where, by law, old utility or apartment deposits, insurance proceeds, you name it, all go if the company can't find you on their own. Have you checked to see if you have any unclaimed funds? Unclaimed funds? I have not. Governor Scott says he'd be shocked if he were on the list. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Scott wasn't on it, but a lot of other Vermonters are, like Richard Wabi of Montpelier. My gosh, so how much am I going to make? Huh? Does that surprise you? <laughs> yeah, it does. You just enter your name, or the names of anyone else you know, on the treasurer's website. A second later... Do you know this fellow? Weinberger. Weinberger Burlington. Yep. Yeah. You know him? It's got less than a dollar in there, right? Um, Don't spend yeah. it all in one place. <laughs> Vermont's three members of Congress all on the list among 420,000 entries now in the database. The average amount is now $330, but the treasurer has more than 600 entries worth $10,000 or more, and a few dozen, if you can believe it, over $100,000. We have one that's over 680,000 right now. And We've you had can't in the find that person? Uh, we're working on it. Uh, a few years back, we had one that was over a couple of million dollars for an individual. Um, she had uh, passed away, her, her, her husband had passed away. We worked with the courts to find her heirs and were able to get those monies out to individuals uh, uh, that were related to this person. Sometimes the trail gets cold. Pierce has only a couple of staffers on the job. Did you know there's more than $80 million in unclaimed financial property in Vermont? So they reach out through TV commercials, news coverage, anything they can think of to spread the word. They also have physical property here at the state treasurer's office. Save the contents of grandma's safe deposit box, all ready to be claimed. There are safeguards in place to detect and prevent fraud, she says, but smaller amounts often paid out within days. That's cool, yeah. If only, Pierce says, more people would go to the computer and check. We love it when we're able to reunite people with their dollars. It's crazy not to check. Pierce urges you to avoid finders, people who offer to connect you with your money and take a percentage. The state and national databases are easy and completely free to check. You'll find a lot more, including links for each state in our region, along with the national website of all 40 participating states. It's all on our website, mynbc5.com.